Thank you. Yesterday, I, like many of you, was delighted to hear the updated revenue numbers projections from Governor Northam. The projections suggest the largest annual revenue stream in the history of the Commonwealth, over 3% larger than last year. To be clear, the budget expectation of the past year of huge COVID-related budget shortfalls never materialized. Now it is easy to pat ourselves on the back and credit strong fiscal management for our current situation. The reality is that the federal government dumped billions of dollars directly into the Commonwealth's budget and into the budgets of our citizens. And that has created our windfall. And while many of our citizens like the Commonwealth are doing better than they have ever done, there are other easily identifiable sectors that are struggling, struggling mightily to keep their workers employed. Over the past week, I've eaten dinner at two restaurants just down from our capital. It was heartbreaking to realize that both restaurants had more employees than customers. I wondered how much longer these once thriving restaurants, businesses could survive. I thought of the employees of the closed restaurants that I passed walking to these restaurants. Were these employees able to find new employment? Also last week, I dropped my shirts at a dry cleaners not far from the Capitol. Business was so slow, they related, that they were only cleaning on Tuesdays and Fridays. They were trying to generate income by making custom masks but they wondered, along with myself, how long they could survive. Madam Speaker, I know we care about these workers, and I implore the budget conferees to think of the employees of these businesses and pass a budget that includes full PPP loan forgiveness. 